Okay guys, welcome to module one. In this module, our expert will be teaching you about choosing freelance services to offer and how to gain the necessary skills. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. So there are a ton of things that you can do right now to earn money as a freelancer. Things that you already know how to do as well as some things that you can learn very quickly and very easily. Now it's a good idea to sit down with a notepad and a pen and brainstorm a little bit. We're going to be using, however, an article from Forbes, an excellent article that basically compiles all the possible freelancing tasks that you could possibly think of. There's 55 really, really good ones here. Some of them you already know how to do. Some of them require very little training or learning. Some of them are a little bit more technical, but in this day and age, you can actually learn these skills very easily, often for free or for a small fee. So let's have a look at number one, social media marketing. Social media marketing is awesome. It is a hugely booming industry. Every company needs a social media marketer or someone who manages their social media posting. So let's go over here to Skillshare. This is the first academic website that we're going to be having a look at today. Skillshare is an enormous library, an e-campus of courses that you can take for a pretty low fee. And as you can see, you can get started for free here with a trial membership. Now let's go ahead and come over here to browse on Skillshare. And let's come over here to marketing. And let's see if we can find anything on Skillshare for social media marketing. What a coincidence. The first hit for marketing is in fact social media presence. There's a ton of stuff here. We've got content marketing over here. We've got social media for the creative entrepreneur. We've got over here social media freelancing, which is literally what we're looking into. So there's a ton of awesome courses here. You can see the time of the courses range from several minutes, 44 minutes to an hour to five hours over here. Lots of good stuff that you could do here. All you would have to do is create an account, log in, use the trial and sit through one of these courses and see if it's something that resonates with you or if it's an area that you feel comfortable offering services in. Now, we're not going to go through this entire list here. As you can see, there's plenty of things. You can offer blogging. You can offer interpreting if you know different languages and stuff. You can do ghost writing. You can do stock photography. There's tons of stuff here. Let's settle on this one here, uh, number 12, graphic design. That's another booming area where people always, always, always need graphics, especially for online businesses. Let's come over here to Envato Tuts. Okay, Tuts stands for tutorials. Now, Envato is actually a big marketplace, or it originally was a big marketplace, where you could buy resources to use in creative marketplaces. And we're actually going to be having a look at that in Lesson 2. However, they also created a tutorial database, a tutorial library, sort of an e-campus. And what do you know, you can come on over here to design and illustration. There's plenty of things that they offer. They offer a ton of different stuff. Adobe After Effects training over here, Adobe InDesign, right? Illustrator, uh, Photoshop for beginners. And that's probably the type of thing that we'll end up looking for. Let's click on Design and Illustration, though. And let's see what they have to offer in that category. All right, so tons of great stuff for graphic design. Lots of tutorials here teaching how to do all sorts of cool things. You've got retro stuff here. You've got mock-ups here. Lots of great tutorials. You can come over here to courses and see what types of courses they have in their inventory. And as you can see, we've got plenty of courses here on design as well. Some of the stuff is very, very specific. I mean, some of the stuff is, you know, typography. Some of it is how to create business cards. If we were looking to learn it from the ground up, we'd probably go with something like InDesign for beginners, which is going to teach you how to use that software for graphics design. Two and a half hour course right there. Can't go wrong with Envato Tuts. Now let's come back to our list and have another look at some more popular ones. Right here we've got programming. Programming refers to everything from web design and development to creating apps, all sorts of good stuff. And in fact, the app market over on Android and iPhone and all that good stuff is really, really exploding as well. And people are always looking for freelance developers. Now, this is a little bit more technical. You probably wouldn't dive straight into creating mobile apps if you've never done anything like that. But if you already have some programming experience and you're specifically wanting to learn how to do Android development or programming, you can come over here to Udacity. 
Udacity also offers a ton of things in a ton of different categories. It's a little bit more on the professional side of things. You will find yourself paying higher end prices, maybe in the neighborhood of two to four hundred bucks for most of these courses. So it is a little bit pricey, but it's amazing what you can learn over here. You come over here to programming and development, look at all these. Sure enough, there's Android Basics, Android Developer. Click on that. They call it a nano degree program, sort of a mini degree. It does, once again, cost a bit of money to get into these because these are sort of premium, high tier courses, but you can learn a ton. You can download the syllabus here to preview what exactly you'll be learning. You can enroll, and right here it gives you an estimated time, in this case, six months for completion at 10 hours per week. It's estimated, doesn't necessarily have to take that long. And as you can see, this is a high end and trusted e learning platform and e learning system because they're built in partnership with Google. So lots of high visibility there, and you know you're getting the absolute best and you're bang for your buck. Let's keep looking at other freelancing ideas. Travel consulting, if you've traveled a lot, maybe you could do that. Music writing and production, if you're a musician. Online researching, editing for books, social media management. If you've ever been in sales, offer sales consulting. Let's see, voice acting. This is a big one. There's sites like Fiverr.com that are just thriving on people who offer voiceovers and narrations for audiobooks, for explainer videos, that sort of thing. There's a lot of money in using your voice. Let's come over to Udemy.com this time. Udemy is basically an online university and it's all stocked and supplied by normal everyday people who have skills and want to teach those skills and share them with people. So let's come over here to categories. Let's see if we could perhaps find something specific to audio narration. Actually, let's try the search bar here and let's type in Audition. Audition is Adobe's audio editing and recording platform. And as you can see, we have a ton of courses here teaching you how to use Adobe Audition. So if you have a good voice and you're comfortable doing voiceovers, but you don't really understand the technical side of things as far as how to record and edit and optimize, you could sit through one of these courses. Beginner's Guide to Adobe, Adobe Audition Made Easy, Audio Production Course, Basics to Expert. As you can see, these vary in length. This one here is 13 and a half hours with 97 lectures. And the prices? Not half bad. 12 bucks for most of these. All right. Udemy, as well as all the other ones we've looked at so far, has a ton of different courses in a ton of different categories. You can come to any of these sites that we're looking at to learn pretty much any skill out there that you can offer as a freelancer. Let's have a look at another one here. Let's come on down and see if anything else jumps out. SEO services, those are always big, especially for local lately. So let's see what we can find for SEO. Let's come over here to lynda.com, which recently was actually acquired by LinkedIn. Those two companies have become one, so who knows how long the brand will remain lynda.com. It sounds like in the future you might be referring to this as LinkedIn Learning. But as you can see, they have a ton of courses. Just look at the numbers there, 600, 700, 1200, in a whole bunch of different categories. Let's head up here and let's search for SEO. And we've got a ton of results here. We've got SEO keyword strategy with Matt Bailey, four hours and 21 minutes. We've got this one here that seems to deal with uh, SEO specifically for videos. So adding transcripts and tags to get your videos to appear higher on the search engine results pages. We've got SEO for apps. We've got SEO for e-commerce. We've got local SEO. We've got SEO foundations, three and a half hours long. Tons and tons and tons of things that you can learn about SEO here. So lynda.com or now LinkedIn Learning is an excellent place to come for that as well. But there is one library of e-learning and tutorials that you can go to that is bigger than any of these, and it's absolutely free. Let's come over here back to our list, and let's look at one that we skipped a little bit earlier that I wanted to have another closer look at, and that's video editing. Video editing is huge. Video editing is everything now. Every company, every business needs video marketing, video content. It's just one of those trends that you have to be on, and they are willing to spend big bucks on video content. So let's go over to that place that I mentioned where you can learn a million different things for free and even has bigger libraries than most of the e-campuses that we just looked at. YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube. 
And for video content, the big go-to application would be Adobe Premiere. After Effects as well, but especially Adobe Premiere. And as you can see, there are people who are so passionate about their skills on Adobe Premiere that they create curriculums that are even bigger and longer than some of those other sites that we looked at and they're totally free they just do it because they love it and oftentimes you'll find maybe the tutorials are even higher quality because they're not being done for profit they're done by people who literally love what they're doing and love to teach what they're doing so YouTube is an excellent source it's a good first stop to look and see if you can find tutorials there to learn how to gain a certain skill before you go and spend money somewhere else. All these other sites are great, by the way. All right, all the sites we've looked at, Skillshare, uh, Envato, Udacity, Udemy, Linda, or LinkedIn Learning, these are all great sites. But stop by YouTube first. As you can see, Jack Cole here is teaching everything about Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a five-hour course. All right, we've got some more basic intro stuff here, 20, 30 minutes, and so on. We've got another guy here, Adobe Premiere, the world's most advanced video editing tutorial. It's over four hours. One hour here. I mean, this is really serious stuff. Here's a whole playlist of videos. So YouTube is an excellent source for learning how you can do just about anything, and you really, truly can do just about anything. If you scroll through this list here from this Forbes article, there are without question going to be at least a half a dozen things that you could do, maybe not that you want to do, but that you could do, and another dozen things that you could easily learn how to do and monetize. All you need is the skills, and you need the actual tools and resources for fulfilling those services, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson.